Good morning, everybody. We are here with Mr. Sea Cucumber, and we are going to be doing episode six of What's Under That Rock. Let's see what we can find. We're going to check out all of these rocks along this passage here. Let's see what we can find today. It took us quite a while to actually find something under these rocks, but we kept persisting and we hit the jackpot. Let's try this one, eh? And, oh, cool. We got some glasses. Look at that. Oh, finally. I can go out partying in these. Ray-Bans. Oh, these are worth a bit. What do you guys think? Should we try them on? Finally, we've hit something. And look at this. We've got a bunch of sea cucumbers. Oh, big rock. Big rock's falling. Cool. Let's try them on, eh? Rock number 87, I think, and we finally scored. Let's give Let's try it. Oh, I can't see too well, but I bet I look good. Ah. <laughs> They're a bit crusty. <laughs> a little. All right, let's see what else is under some uh, of these rocks. 379, let's see what we got. Hey, baby Hebrew cone, cool. This beach is packed with Hebrew cones, if you guys don't know it. Let's check it out, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Love flipping these rocks, you just never know what you'll find. Cool, dudes. What's that there? It's a tiny little, no idea, crown cone or something. Little, yeah, old little cowrie. Hey, look at that. Oh, I didn't even notice that. How good is that? Nice little deer cowrie. I didn't even notice. Look how well it blends in there. Cool. That was a score of a rock. Anything else in here? Nah. All right, let's see what's under rock number 380. No, dropped my Hebrew cone. It's beautiful though, isn't it? That's definitely going in my case. Ugh. Always flip the rock back over because there's a lot of living things under there. All right, let's see what we can I've find. Been here for quite a while now, I haven't found too much. Let's see what we got. This one's underwater, it's always making me nervous. Oh, look at that. No way. Is that a freaking Murex? It is. Whoa, it's super old. Wow. This has been here for a long time. Oh, we were just about to leave because we haven't found much at all. And we've been here for like half an hour, 45 minutes. What? Oh my gosh. Look at my face, guys. Let me turn the camera around. We've been here for like 45 minutes, nearly an hour, and haven't found anything. Look, Imogen's way over there looking for more stuff. Finally. Finally. Down below if you know what this Murex is exactly. Isn't it fantastic? Let's leave you right there, little fella. Go for a little dig. Anything else? It always makes me nervous digging around in the watered areas. Because you never know what's underneath these. You missed the sea cucumber. Anyway, let's see what else is around. Can't believe it. We're definitely staying now. Look how old it is. Wow, still got those flares though. Ew. What a score. We got a lot more to guys, go. Not quite a rock flip just yet, but look, I see a little Arabian. Maybe, might be a piece. Guys, comment down below. Do you think it's gonna be whole, um, live, or broken? I think it's probably gonna be broken. It looks really rough under there. Let's check it out. Might be more, who knows? Ah, Mr. Sea Cucumber, of course it's you hiding that. Of course. You're a chunky little fella too. <laughs> Cool. Anyway, let's check it out. Yeah, it's pretty old. Nothing too exciting. Yeah. Eh. It's like a 2 out of 10. Probably couldn't clean it up, but... Yeah, we'll add this into the monthly giveaways to subscribers. So every single month I give away a big box of shells to one random subscriber of the channel. It's completely free. Yeah, it's just a way to say thanks. Hey, is that a little rosa? It is! Eh... Again, pretty old, but it does have a nice pattern, doesn't it? Mr. Sea Cucumber's hiding everything from me today. Cool. Alright. Yeah, guys, remember to subscribe, though. Alright, let's see what else we can find. You spot what I'm seeing. It's around this area. Surely you spot it. Look at that. Is it? Yeah, it is. A little auger, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's check it out. This is why you guys should... Oh, oh. It's pretty old, but it's got a really cool pattern. We never find shells like this. This is why you should check out the rocky headlands of beaches, because you never know what's hiding around the place. How cool is that? I wonder if there's anything under the rock. Might as well check it, hey. 
you never know. Plus, there is a quite a good amount of stuff around this place. Ugh. Hey, what was I saying? Sorry, Mr. Sea Cucumber, let me get that rock off you. Put that there. Oh, there's actually two. Of course there's two sea cucumbers. Of course. Wouldn't be a rock flip without a cucumber. Nasty things. Yeah, it's all right. These ones are absolutely everywhere here, so don't really get too excited about these. Uh, it's a little bit old. Don't even know if I'll keep it, to be honest. But there are a couple of nice finds right there. Let's put Mr. Sea Cucumbers home back, even though I don't like them. And I think they're gross. They're still important. All right. There's a lot of surfers out today. But yeah, let's see what else is hanging around. Come on. Check out this tiny little rock here, because I spot a piece of uh, sea glass. We never ever find sea glass around these places, so it's really nice to see here and there. And it's only barely sea glass, as you can see. The edges aren't really that rounded. Nice though, it's like a little piece of slice. Cool. Never find it. Anything else here? Wow, look at that. Big old droop. Oh, it's for sure alive. You can see the crab in there. See his little blue eyes? Huh. How cool is that? Let's say good day. How are you? He's got a massive, um, pinch shirt? No. I don't know what it's called. Massive claw, though, sitting right at the front there. That's pretty cool. Big old droop shell. Sorry, mate. There you go. There's the cucumber. All right. Bye, guys. That was a nice little find. I like sea glass. Look under too many more rocks because we're just not having much luck anymore. I guess we've looked under so many today that we're starting to look under the same ones. But look at this. We have, of course, Hebrew cone and of course sea cucumber. But look at this triton shell here. Wow. Cool. How nice is that? I have no idea what sort of triton that is though. Cool as. Might as well check out this Hebrew. Uh, it's all right. I'll probably leave it for somebody else. Yeah, I think we'll leave that one. Cool. Hey, mister. Let's see what live animals we can find. I'd love to find a blue ring octopus. I think that would be so cool. Yeah. Way at the front of the beach here, right? Where you wouldn't expect to find anything. And look what's down here. Look at that. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you don't know, that is a textile cone shell. One of the most dangerous animals on the planet. I'm not sure if it's alive, empty, broken or what. Don't have my gloves today. Still want to be safe though, so I'm going to use this piece of a sunglass. Let's check it out. Always got to be really careful with these. Ooh. Ooh, what do we think? I don't know. I think, I don't see anything in there yet, so I'm going to grab it at the top of its shell. What do we think? Oh, yep. Yeah. That's for sure empty. Nice. Freaking textile cone shell. It's a beautiful specimen as well. How cool is that? Haven't found one in a long time. Phew. What a score. Have you guys ever found a textile cone shell? I love finding them. Beautiful pattern on it. Definitely going to take this trash though. Cool as. Phew. Having a lot of good luck today, guys. I really hope you are enjoying the video so far. This massive one to go here. See if I can. Hey. Ugh. Ah. Wow. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy moly. This is a mud skipper. Look at him. How cool are you? I'm going to take him down into the water if I can because it's really dry here. Come on, buddy. Aren't you cute? Hello, aren't you a cutie? Oh, mud skipper, looking for water. <laughs> Look at him. He'll make it, but I'll help him if he'll stop. Come on, buddy, I'll help you. Let me help you. There you go. Aren't you cute? Hey, look at those colors. Let's put him, yeah, right in here. That was so unexpected. There you go, buddy. Oh, oh, no, he's gone. How cool is that? Wow, that was so cool. Massive mud skipper. <laughs> Up to the front of the beach now to try and find some cool live animals or anything exciting. Look at this. This is exactly what I came out here for. Look, 
the massive um, Arabian maybe. I'm really hoping this one's whole. Come on, yeah, nice. Hey, it might be really old and calcified, but that's still a whole Arabian cowrie shell. Ew, can't believe how well we've scored today. We've got what, a deer cowrie and Arabian, a whole lot of other stuff. Cool, got a little blue cowrie there as well. That's a nice little honey hole, isn't it? Cool beans, love it. Awesome, oh yeah, I did also see this little prickly droop here, but it looks pretty old. So I'm not sure, oh, it's so hard to get balance out here. Not sure if it's any good, let's check it out. Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty nice, isn't it? Cool, bunch of good stuff. Nice little handful there. Still looking for that blue ringed octopus. If you don't know, the blue ringed octopus is the most poisonous thing on the planet, I believe, along with the stonefish. But yeah, hopefully we'll find one one day. It's gotta be one around here. Might not have blue ringed octopus here, but we sure do have two cute little, well, actually big sea hares. Aren't they cool? Let's say g'day. Wow, you're a big fella. Sorry, mate, you're eating some breakfast by the looks of it. How amazingly colored are they? I love it. This is a giant fella. If you guys didn't know about sea hares, when they feel threatened, they release a purple ink uh, to quickly vanish away from the whatever's trying to prey it or prey on them. Pretty cool, isn't it? I'm not gonna show you because it would just scare him. Um, but yeah, they're really cool. It's actually toxic to dogs, not humans, but dogs. So if you go out shelling with your puppies, just be careful of that. Pretty cool. And there's another one there. This is so exciting. This is just an unreal find here. Look at that. Do you see that? That is what looks like an Isabella cowrie. I've only ever found like four or five and it's just sitting here right next to a, oh, an Erosa. Let's check it out. Please be whole. Oh, it is whole, but it's pretty calcified. Nah, I'm pretty excited about it. That's definitely a, a success. Awesome. Ah, oh, it feels terrible with all that calcification. The easiest way to fix up uh, calcified shells is to rub mineral or baby oil onto them. Pretty cool. All right, let's check out that Erosa, of course. Wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely stunner. We also have a little crown cone there, but they're everywhere. Awesome. I'm so thrilled on today's finds. I haven't been to this beach in quite a while. And uh, yeah, we've been spoiled today. Awesome. I was just getting out my new camera that was actually gifted to me by my mate Richard in America. Check it out. It's a Sony 4K um, FDRX 3000. So it's an underwater camera and yeah. Shout out to my mate Richard, legend, gifted this to me. Such an awesome guy, thank you so much man. I'm so excited to use it today. Awesome, let's see what else we can find. Nope. Anyway? No. Big yeah, no. fella here. I'm pretty positive this is going to be a dead crab rather than a molt of a crab because the last one I found, I've only ever found one, it was dead. So let's check it out. Hopefully he's not just sleeping because he's got some big nippers there. Yeah. Uh, oh, no way. That's a molt. Yeah. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, that's for sure a molt of a crab. Heck yes. So recently, if you guys are new to the channel, I've been collecting crab molts. So it's not a dead crab shell. It's when a crab grows out of a shell, they molt it. How cool is that? I've never found one of these blue swimmer crabs as a molt before. You can tell because the eyes are clear and see-through like that. Yes, that's gonna go so nice in my collection. Cool, what a score. I'm absolutely loving it today. We are scoring. Cool, okay. isn't that incredible? Whoa, look at the purple color. I've only just gotten a good look at it because we're right next to the water here as you can see. Let's check it out. Wow, would you look at that purple color? Oh. I've only ever found one of these shells. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Maybe a type of nutmeg. But yeah, it, the one that I've found 
was ages ago and it actually looks exactly like this one how cool is that beautiful pink tip beautiful purple inside now it's got a little crabby in it so not the original owner of the shell but he beat me to it so we'll leave him there luckily i've already got one bye mister oh i'll wait for this water so he doesn't get washed around cool bye let's check out the finds of the day down here we absolutely scored i'm super excited on these finds my favorite find though of course was this giant murex shell i think it's like a rose murex or something definitely needs a clean we have about four shells and like a couple of uh, urchins that i want to clean up all in one video so we're saving those for that so shell cleaning video coming soon and we had these ray bands here definitely gonna take this to a pawn shop and try and get a hundred bucks for them you never know um, got a couple of arabians here uh, yeah we, i think we might have filmed this one I'm not sure but yeah look at it now that's calcified that's an arabian cowrie underneath but it's filled with calcium excess calcium and we had a whole bunch of hebrews like normal cool little textile cone shell is, of course and a couple other things nice little auger yeah look how that isabella cowrie turned out pretty uh calcified again pretty cool though but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and we'll probably film episode seven in a couple of weeks but uh yeah thank you for watching